Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve the second sum under maximization problem under the chapter assignment model. Uh, in our video series, it's going to be our eighth sum that we are going to be solving. Okay, the first six were of minimization, and the, the seventh and the eighth sum is based on maximization problem sum. Again, a very advanced kind of sum this is. Okay. In this video, again, we are going to learn, you know, what are the various steps, okay, what is the procedure, uh, how to get the final optimal solution. So, see that everyone view this video very carefully. So, let us see how to solve some when they have given us maximization criteria. Okay, now let us see, this is question number 8. Let us see what this question asks us to find. The following table gives profit of manufacturing 4 products at 4 different plants. Okay, and they give you the products and the plants and they ask you to find the assignment to maximize the profit. Again, this is a sum which is based on maximization. So now let us see how to start. Okay, whenever you have been asked to find the sum using maximization, number one, you'll have to always create regret matrix. So the rule of regret matrix is that first you note down the table, you know, you make a table which is similar the structure. Here we have A, B, C and D. The rule is from the question, whichever is the highest value, that value will be subtracted from all other numbers and we'll get a new regret table or regret matrix. Okay. So now if you look carefully in the question, the highest value which you can see is 9. So it will be 9 minus all other values in the entire table to get that new table ka values. Okay. So first it will be 9 minus 2 which will be 7. 9 minus 9 is 0, 5, 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 2 is 7. Similarly, we'll have 3, 1, 2, 3, 5, 3, 4, 6 and uh, 5, 5, 2, 5. So this is how we create our first regret matrix. Once you are done with that matrix, the next thing we'll have to do is row minimization. In order to make row minimization from each row from the regret matrix, we'll pick up the lowest value and then we'll have to subtract that value from all other numbers in that particular row. So we made the structure. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and this is A, B, C and D. In the first row, 0 is the lowest value. So 0 minus all other values will give you the same value. Next may we have 1 as the lowest value so it will be 2 minus 1, uh, 3 minus 1 which is 2, 0, 1 and 2. Next the lowest value is 3 so I will have you know 2, 0, uh, 1 and uh, another 3. Okay now next value is the lowest value in the last row is 2 so it will be 2 minus 1 so it will give you 3. Uh, 3, 0 and uh, again 3 okay so that is how we have to first create row minimization after creating row minimization our next step is column minimization now in order to solve or uh, create row column minimization we first make the structure of our table and thereafter from each column we will follow the same thing we will take the lowest value and subtract that value from all other values okay so in the first column the lowest value is 2 so all the values minus 2 so 7 minus 2 is 5 2 minus 2 is 0 0 3 minus 2 is 1 second may the lowest is 0 so all the values will remain as it is third the lowest value is again 0 so we will put it as it is Fourth method, lowest value is 2, so it will be 5, 0, 1, and 1. Okay. Once you are done with the column minimization, our next step is we need to assign uh, all the rows and column which has first single zeros. Okay. So we'll start with the row form. In the first row, the there's only one zero, so that particular value get assigned, and all other zeros in the corresponding column will get crossed out. In the second row now there are two zeros so we can't choose right now so we'll give it for standby we'll go to the row three row three has only one zero we mark that uh, subsequently all of the zero get crossed out in the fourth row there is only one zero so we mark it out all the rows are done we go column by first column everything is done second done third fourth there's only one zero we mark that particular zero once you do that we'll check now the assigned values so the number of assigned so assignment values if you check we have 
one two three four we have four assigned values and matrix size if you check the matrix size your matrix size is also four by four therefore we can say that the solution is optimal the moment of solution is optimal we can say that therefore the optimal assignment is now for plant a product 2 was selected for which the value is 9 for plant b uh, 4 product 4 was selected the value for which is 6 for plant C, uh, the first value was selected which is 4 and for plant D, uh, third value was selected, third product was selected which is 7. The total of which is supposed to be 26, okay, 9, 15, 19, 26 is the total value. They are asking you to maximize the profit so we can write therefore the total maximum profit is rupees 26 okay now if the sum is in thousands so this would have become 26,000 or in lakhs and 26 lakhs okay depending on whatever type of question they have or whatever values or units they are given in the question okay so this is how we need to solve the sum which is based on maximization problem where we need to first create the regret matrix then row minimization column minimization check if the assigned values are matching with the matrix i if yes we get the optimal solution and then we need to get the optimum values okay this is a question eight or this is the eighth problem sum that we have solved under our video series based on assignment model we started off with minimization simple then minimization advanced sums and now we are on maximization problem sum in our head videos now we are going to solve we will be solving basically all the you know special cases somewhere we'll have prohibited cases dummy cases unbalanced cases okay so see that everyone follows the follow the video series very carefully because this will help you to clear you know get complete marks in this particular topic okay Chalo. with that uh, we'll be ending this video i hope everyone have understood okay thank you